uh, from now on, I will start my presentation on my paper. Hmm. Title is Sleep Related Factors in Middle Aged Women. Next page. Uh, this is about introduction. The purpose of this study was to understand the sleep patterns of middle-aged women and to analyze the correlation between sleep quality, menopausal symptoms, depression, daytime drowsiness, sunlight, caffeine, and alcohol use. Through this, it was conducted to pro provide base da data on management and intervention for desirable sleep patterns for middle-aged women on important time when the remaining life is determined. Next page is study subject. The subject of this study were women aged 40 to 60 years old and 125 middle-aged women who were not currently receiving any disease or hormone therapy. Subject were asked to face-to-face -face and directly input on a mobile questionnaire using a mobile phone and data were collected in compliance with the ESCOL guide guidelines. This is study tools and data analysis. Data were collected using menopause rating scale for menopausal symptoms, Pitchburg Sleep Quality Index for sleep quality, and Back Depression Inventory for depression. Data were analyzed by descriptive statistics, t-test, ANOVA, and Pearson's correlation coefficient method. This is about um, socio-demographic characteristics. See table one. As for the age of subject, um, forty-nine patients were forty-six to fifty years old and 106 patients were married. Seventy-nine had two children and thirty-seven had disease. As for the Exposure, um, exposure time to sunlight, 52 people had 30 minutes to 1 hour per day and 36 had more than 1 hour. Next, see table 2. Sleep quality by the by the socio um, demographic characteristics. First, as a result of um, uh, as a result of this study, there was no secret significant difference in the sleep quality level of middle-aged women according to 
sunlight exposure time and marital status disease status in particular it has been confirmed that light therapy is an effective in intervention to improve sleep quality depression and menopausal symptoms but in this study the level of sleep quality of middle-aged women is not related to the time of sunlight. A more in-depth study is required. And C table 3 is about relationships among variables. The quality of sleep in middle-aged women has correlated with, with depression, depression, menopausal symptom, daytime drowsiness, amnia during sleep, snoring, contractions of convulsions during sleep. Among them, middle-aged women's sleep quality has the highest correlation with depression, followed by menopausal symptoms, apnea during sleep, snoring, and daytime drowsiness. Uh, next page about conclusion. Women, in particular, have more to do with changes in their sleep patterns than men, and have more sleep disturbance than men. In other words, it can be seen that women have, have any sleep-related problems such as lower quality of sleep compared to men, and complaining of more sleep disorders. As a result of this study, the higher the level of depression, menopausal symptoms, daytime, daytime drowsiness, apnea during sleep, snoring, contractions, or convulsions during sleep. The quality of sleep in middle-aged women decreased and worsened. In particular, depression was the most correlated with sleep quality, and depression was a major related factor deteriorating sleep quality. In addition, the quality of sleep had a high correlation in the order of menopausal symptoms, the breathing during sleep, snoring, and daytime sleepiness. Accordingly, it is necessary to develop a nursing intervention to improve the quality of sleep by mediating related factors for middle-aged women with low sleep quality. In addition to the factors seen in this study, other factors need to be integrated and considered. Thank you.